Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on three main ways that I like to remove stray hairs in Photoshop. Now this is mainly geared towards beauty photography, obviously as I am doing a beauty photography retouching series, as you guys probably know at the moment. So I'm going to stick to how I would usually remove them in a studio environment. So first off, my first way that I love to remove stray hairs, and can I just get this out of the way first? I hate removing stray hairs. This is actually my pet peeve and the worst thing when it comes to retouching for me. I usually really do love retouching, and I do love it as having having it as part of my job, but stray hairs for some reason just really get on my nerves, and I think it's because they're so hard to get rid of and make it look fairly natural in the process. So I think the first way that I really love to do it is by using the healing tools. And the way I would do it is by dragging the background layer into the new layer box and that will give us a background copy layer. So I would always do my retouching with the healing tools on a separate background copy layer. And then I would zoom in to the areas that need hairs removed. And for any strays that usually fall across the face, I would use this tool. Any hairs that tend to sort of be on the outside, there's a few other ways that I'm going to show you guys in a second that I like to remove those. But first off, we're going to go over to the spot healing brush tool. So this one is the top one just there. And then I would make the brush a little bit smaller. So probably, let's say around 20 pixels for now. And then I would just run it over the hair that needs to be removed. So it's pretty good in the way that it gets rid of the hairs. And I mean, these ones here aren't too stray, but they really do tend to work quite well with getting rid of stray hairs. I really do like this tool for that purpose. And you just kind of have to hold it down and do it in a straight line. And sometimes the healing tools can be a little bit of a problem um, and sometimes they work just fine. So usually you might have to go over a few little spots if you feel like they're not getting rid of the hairs completely. But this is generally how I would remove those hairs, especially across the face. So that's a really easy, simple method, which probably a lot of you guys already know how to do. Um, but if you didn't, I hope you learned something new with that one. Uh, so the next way that I would like to remove stray hairs is by using a separate new layer. So we're just gonna click on the new layer here. And this is generally going to be used for any hairs that are outside that are laying in the background frame. So I would usually remove these hairs by getting the paintbrush. And I usually make this quite a soft brush, so I'm gonna move the hardness down to 0% and move the brush size up a bit more. I usually like to have quite a large brush size for this. So let's say about, say to 200 pixels, 190 is what I'm using. And the flow probably very low. I, I'd like to keep it probably around 5% or lower. And then I would hold down Alt on the keyboard and eyedropper the color of the background. I'd probably make the brush size even bigger actually. I'd probably go even 400. I think that'll work for this. And then I would just start to paint over the areas to soften those hairs because they really do frustrate me, um, especially when they get so clumpy like that. But I feel like just by using a really soft brush on the outside, it really tends to help soften them without looking like I've really retouched them. And you can just kind of like paint in the background a little bit more if you feel like it's making too much of an effect and it's, it's looking a little bit funny on the backdrop because I know that can happen, particularly with some background colors or however it's lit, it can be a bit of an issue with that. But usually I would just do it very softly along the edges like that, just to kind of get rid of the hairs in that way. So the next way that I want to show you guys how to remove hairs would just be by using the background layer and using the clone stamp tool. So just this tool over here. So I'd usually keep it quite soft and we're basically going to do what we did with the paintbrush, but just by using a selection by using the clone stamp tool. So I'm going to hold down Alt on my keyboard, click into the gray area up here and making sure the flow is at around maybe 30%. I'm going to start to paint over some of those areas where 
the hairs are looking a little bit too messy. And you can keep selecting those areas. And then you can use a couple of the healing tools to just get rid of any little hairs that seem to be still hanging around. I personally prefer using the paintbrush method sometimes, um, but I know that that's not always a possibility depending on the backdrop that you're shooting on and sometimes it can really alter with the rest of the image. So I just prefer to use a combination of techniques, but I'm just going to take a snapshot here and show you guys what that has done. So this is what it looked like before and this is what we've made it now. So I could definitely go in and do a lot more detail. I wanted to keep it soft for this image but there's definitely other images where I would keep it very clean and very crisp around the, the hairs and the edges of the hair. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it was helpful for you. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, please let me know in the comments section below and I will hopefully be able to add them to my request list. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.